Okay, but uh, if we just compute the solutions like we did uh, for the wing, we find that we get the correct separation at, uh, at the rear of the wing, not because there is a circulation that moves some, uh, some other type of separation, but instead that at uh, the end of the wing we have these vortices that develops just as behind the uh, cylinder, which lowers the pressure and, and, uh, and fixates the separation at the back. And then we can just observe that, uh, that we get this uh, high suction where, where, it, uh, where we find it in experiments on the top of the wing. And we get the lift uh, curve uh, as a function of the angle of attack, which looks like uh, experiments. And also the pressure curves uh, for different angles of attack look like in experiments. It also looks like uh, the Katashikovsky type computations uh, for low uh, angles of attack and at, uh, at the front of the wing. So, so the flow is, is similar to this uh, at the leading edge, but it's a completely different uh, separation. Not this uh, smooth separation, but this separation in, in turbulent uh, vortices. Okay. So, uh, so now if, this, if we believe that it's possible to compute uh, relevant uh, solutions to, to high Reynolds number flow problems with this type of boundary conditions, uh, a lot, uh, lots of fields open up. We can do realistic uh, simulations of a full car like this because we do not have to resolve the boundary layer. This is the computation with, with the slip boundary condition. Uh, <coughs> This is what we get, this is the oily solution for a certain mesh. When we refine the mesh, we get similar drag uh, and similar uh, macro structures. We have some uh, typically two vortex structure, structures behind the car. Um, and, uh, and the drag is similar to, to what you get uh, behind uh, for a real car. But the only thing we have and can study in detail is this, is this model. So, um, but Volvo, which has given us this geometry, is very interested in this. So hopefully we can, we can get a clear idea of how this relates to, uh, to, act, to an actual car or, or experiments in, in wind tunnels and so on. Okay, so, so these things so far is, is things we have done with Unicorn. So, so now I'm just going to give a short short uh, update on things that we're working on currently. So one thing is that we want to, to be able to capture geometry better. So uh, a, a first step to that is, uh, would be to uh, just project uh, our, uh, our mesh to, to any given surface. So the surface can come from a CAD description or something like that. So, so this we are working on now in, in the master thesis project of Ashraf ul Kadir. So he has developed this lib geom package, uh, which builds on this NURBS++, maybe someone is familiar with that. Uh, but we're also uh, experimenting with uh, using GMesh instead. So. And the idea is then to, to just project, uh, so you can project an arbitrary point onto that surface. So that is the first step towards approximating geometry better. Uh, other components that we uh, would like to find is, uh, uh, is to have a, a higher order uh, description of the surface, not only piecewise linear, even though it's, uh, it's on the boundary, so to speak. Uh, and we want to estimate the, the geometrical error. So we are experimenting with error indicators for geometry and how to fit that into the rest of the framework. But I know there is other work going on in this direction as well, so it, it will be interesting to hear what you're doing. So acoustics uh, is something that we work on as well. It's a preliminary work um, where we connect uh, fluid structure interaction to acoustics. So, so this, is, uh, uh, this is a problem of an exhaust pipe where we have a, a steel plate. Uh, that, that then moves by the flow and uh, this is a source of acoustic noise. Something that we're interested in here is, uh, is uh, can we use the full Euler equations to, to compute uh, acoustics? Or uh, is that too expensive or too inaccurate? Do we have to go to linearized models? And uh, this is examined in, in a thesis project by Silan Shiftsi, uh, 
who, who presented his thesis yesterday. And uh, this is initial work, but, but uh, so far this indicates that the cost is comparable and the accuracy is comparable for simple model problems. This is a pulse, a pressure pulse, which we track with the linearized and, uh, and the full oil model. It would be nice if, it, if we could afford uh, working with the full oil model, because then we could again uh, uh, include also acoustics in this unified framework. Uh, this is another problem by Cem uh, de Girmenci uh, on uh, particle flow. So, so the idea here is to yeah, have a particle uh, falling in the fluid. So this is uh, fluid structure interaction. And, uh, and how do we deal with this? So we again, we let the mesh track uh, the solids. And, um, uh, and we work with a refinement coarsening strategy. So each, uh, each particle has, uh, has an area of refined mesh around. And then when it, uh, as it propagates through the mesh, uh, the mesh is refined and coarsened. And here we use this uh, Madlib uh, uh, package again, which we will hear more about tomorrow. Uh, another project concerns uh, biomedicine. So uh, this is a, a rich area for fluid structure interaction problems. So this is about uh, a patient-specific uh, model of heart. So we're working with different groups that, that knows the medical imaging part. Uh, an ultrasound uh, group in Umeå University uh, in Sweden and uh, uh, an MRI group in, in Linköping University. And um, so they provide uh, images and then uh, we work on the image segmentation problem and then we run simulations in, uh, in Unicorn. So this is sort of the, the status of the model uh, at this point. Um, so this is, the, this is the surface pressure of the heart or the left ventricle of the heart. And, uh, and this is the blood uh, velocity. So, so doctor seems to be interested in, for example, this uh, vortex inside the heart. And uh, what we would like to do now with this model is to test the sensitivity with respect to different uh, changes like the inflow uh, profile and, and the direction of the flow here, which connects to, for example, if we would uh, use mechanical valves or, or uh, if, if the patient has some disease of some sort. Okay, so the title said something about education, but uh, there's only one slide. This is it. Uh, we use um, the Phoenix tools in uh, three courses today at KTH. It's mainly graduate courses. It's a final element course. It's a project course in PDEs. And uh, there is a CFD course. But uh, we are also working on this, uh, uh, we're trying to, 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 to start up a simulation technology bachelor uh, at KTH, which then would uh, be heavily based on, on uh, our research area. Uh, there will be six basic courses uh, on introductory level in computational mathematics and simulation technology. And uh, the tools would, uh, there would be some MATLAB type uh, or Python based uh, programming. But uh, a lot of uh, tools from the Phoenix project could potentially uh, get a very high impact into that. So, so it will, for our, our sake, uh, we will focus, if this becomes uh, true, we, we will focus on, on um, uh, uh, more on the basic tools, uh, maybe on the Python uh, parts of the, of, of the Phoenix Project more to include it in the, in the basic education. And also I think it's a good... Uh, um, I'm not sure how much it's used in, in other places, so we, we could talk about that, but this could be a possibility for, uh, for developing material around uh, these tools as well. Okay, that's, that's what I had to say.